In this video, I'm going to talk about the chord that defines the Neptune movement from the planets by Gustav Holst. Welcome to... Keith Horn's Chord of the Week. The Planets is one of the most popular and beloved pieces of orchestral music in the world, and if you haven't heard it live, I highly recommend it. The guy's really good. Mars is the most famous movement, which opens the piece, and Jupiter, the fourth movement, is also very well known. But the seventh and last movement, Neptune, is what I'd like to zero in on. It opens like this. Right away we hear an alternation between E minor and G sharp minor. These two triads are the key to understanding the harmony of Neptune. Notice that they are a major third part, or a major sixth if you put the G sharp minor at the bottom. Also notice the B common tone between the two chords. Have so much in common. Later we hear both triads sounding at once. And check out this voicing. E minor over G sharp 5. Because of the B that's in the E minor, there's no need to add it to the G sharp, because there it is. Nice. Holst goes on to use the same voicing, a fifth higher. B minor over D sharp or E flat 5. And then a second higher, like this, which is F sharp minor over B flat 5. Nice. And that one chord alone, in various forms, covers the first four minutes of the movement interspersed with some major 7th chord resolutions here and there. Holst most likely arrived at this voicing by playing around with the augmented scale, which is this. It's a 6th note or hexatonic scale that's basically just an augmented triad with half-step approach notes. From the scale you can derive a bunch of triads including C minor, C major, E minor, E major, G sharp minor, G sharp major. And that's where we find this combination of E minor and G sharp minor. All oh, right, there we are then. One very poignant use of harmony derived from the augmented scale is Qui-Gon's Funeral from The Phantom Menace by John Williams, right at the end of the movie. Check that out. But which was destroyed, the master or the apprentice? Here we have an open voiced D flat major and an A minor triad in the upper register. This comes from the D flat augmented scale. So in order to commit this one to memory, let's run the Neptune chord through some exercises. So the first exercise is to take the bitonal chord, which is E minor and G sharp minor. I'm going to flip them so it's G sharp minor and then E minor. Notice the half step difference between the fifth of the lowest triad and here the root of the next one. So starting in C minor we'll go in the authentic cycle which is counterclockwise around the circle of fifths and that sounds like this. Next we'll take this E minor over G sharp 5 and we'll put it in C, which would be C minor over E5. We're going to take it through the ascending augmented cycle with voice leading. Now the ascending augmented cycle is this. C augmented, F augmented, B flat, and E flat augmented. Another way to get through all 12 keys without using the circle of fifths. That's very convenient. So starting in C minor over E5, that's going to sound like this. E minor over A flat 5. 
A flat minor over C5, F minor over A5, A minor over C sharp 5, C sharp minor over F5, let's do a couple more here, B flat minor over D5, D minor over F sharp 5, and G sharp minor over B5. And finally, I'll just alternate between the two chords, E minor to G sharp minor with voice leading, and I'll take you through the plagal cycle. So I'll play the root of the plagal cycle like this. And you'll see if we do E over E minor, and then G sharp over E minor, it becomes an E major seven. So that'll be our, our cycle. So here we go. This is the fourth exercise. Hopefully you feel sufficiently spaced out by the Neptune chord. And if you like this video, check out my other videos on the planets. And as always, thanks for watching, thank you for listening, and happy practicing. Yeah. Who this? This be yo, who this? Yo, who this? Who this?